to for Mansfield, but everyone knew him as Kiwi Chris. Candy Cassidy Roberts quickly fell for Chris Mansfield. Well, when I first met him, I was immediately captivated by him. He looked at me and I looked at him and it was very magnetic. She says Mansfield was a rugged rugby player. Roberts, a young UW student, moved in with the New Zealand native only to discover a dark side. He was upset that um, I didn't do the dishes properly. He caught me by the arm and threw me down onto the ground and took me by the hair and was dragging me throughout the apartment. What she calls a cycle of abuse continued. He reached through and grabbed my head and my hair and started banging my head up against the window. Seattle city attorneys charged Mansfield with misdemeanor domestic violence in 2009. He was jailed, wrote candy letters, promising never to abuse her again, and then never showed up for a court date. Ten years later, yeah, I've definitely always been looking over my shoulder to wonder, wondering if he's there. So imagine her surprise this past week when she got a call from across the Pacific. Mansfield, now 39, was set to start a new reality show on the New Zealand-based married at first sight. Well, I actually had to sit down in the middle of, of the store because my breath was just taken away. I just, I could not, I couldn't believe it. The thought of being married off to a stranger and especially when it's so easy to just Google and see that his name was attached to something so violent. It really scared me for the women that were potentially going to be his bride. Candy also found out she wasn't alone. Kim Jones told King Five she fled Seattle in 2008 after similar abuse from Mansfield. Yet another woman now living out of state and the daughter of a longtime King County Sheriff's deputy told King Five she is a survivor as well. It's really important to reach out to other women in the Seattle area that may have fled or that have had contact with Chris. In fact, Seattle authorities say the warrant for Mansfield's arrest is still active, which begs the question, why was he even cast in the dating show in the first place? Felt very confused why a network wouldn't vet their contestants. Mansfield did not respond to a request for comment, but Married at First Sight creators, Media Works of New Zealand, say it has eliminated Mansfield from the final cut of the show, and it wasn't aware of his past transgressions. The woman he married on that show says the producers put her life in direct danger. Candy has connected through social media with what she says are some of the other survivors. It's a survivor sisterhood, really. And believes, while it may not be justice, there is some relief that karma has finally come calling. Massive peace of mind for me. He came across a lot of people. Chris Daniels, King 5 News. So if you are a victim of domestic violence, there are a lot of resources available. Just text the word hotline to us at 206-448-4545. We will send you a link to the Washington State Coalition Against Domestic Violence.